I'm in the process of editing my videos and I realized there was a woodpecker in one of the trees. Also, I want to point out, while I was vlogging, there was a bird flying up here and saw a leaf on my Italian parsley and I thought that was hilarious. Oh, that is not for birds! <laughs> Also, I had to do a little TLC on my basil. I'm still in editing mode and watching these squirrels play. <laughs> Good evening and happy Monday! Tonight, Rowan is actually coming here for another date night. I mean, we're planning on doing a movie night and the live action of The Little Mermaid. So I got a few things set up, my old script, and I'll put a link in the description. Some of these is actually from my Bravo bag. If we're actually feeling it, I had Villainous, which this was the bladed Christmas from last year. I was gonna wait for my family to play this since my mom's boyfriend isn't really big fun on, like, board games. And also on the very bottom, we got a puzzle. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I just finished editing some of the videos and they're being processed. This afternoon, I'm actually meeting my behavior consultant. We're going to do our thing today and let's see if... We can find some more nostalgia products. And actually found something that's a little cheaper. What I found is these are actually not sponsorships, but Ambassador offers. I learned from my mom. So my dad was actually kind enough and he was willing to help me getting used to using a crock pot. So I'm going to let this cook overnight and should be ready by the time we come back. Stewie just made an epic fail. My dad found this idea to chew away the cats when he's cooking. Happy Sunday! I know it's kind of weird when I was snacking on my pretzels and getting caught up on Big City Greens. Probably can't share. I had to almost thought I pulled a Chip Wessler after his defeat with one of the families. Sorry, that's a spoiler. If you haven't seen Big City Greens. So, rambling aside, I thought it was one of these that got stuck in my tooth and my mouth started bleeding. Which, I just brushed my teeth and that should help. Luckily, I talked to my mamma about my situation. And she's like, oh, well, it's probably one of your baby teeth. I mean, it's almost like loose, like a child one when they lost their teeth. So that being aside, my mom should be home soon and I'll talk to her. Potentially take me to the dentist here, but that's going on. I know it's kind of gross, but this is what's causing my like mouth to bleed, and it was actually one of my baby tooth. So sorry if there's like blood everywhere, and what I did is what any kid would do is just. Put mouthwash, just oral care, mouthwash, toothbrush, and, and let it fall on its own. So I just texted my mammal, and she's like, Mom, put it under your pillow. I was like, Mammal, I'm like, I'm not five anymore. It's like, give it a try. Maybe she'll come. Maybe she won't. And then... I just sent, like, a gift on, on her text, and it's one of the Guardians from Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> I 
figure that would take an ending break since I've been working real hard and my mouse to the iMac, it needs some batteries. Tonight is the premiere of season 10 of The Masked Singer and my mom actually found a couple places that accepts my insurance so I can get my tooth fixed. Speaking of things that needs to be fixed, ignore my like family photo. So my freezer is for some reason leaking water and I cleaned everything. So I texted my mom about that issue. At first, it was leaking up to here. Okay, update number one. My mom just texted me, and we're still going to look into the fridge, see what's going on with it. And my mom actually scheduled a dentist appointment and found a place. Sadly, it is going to be during Halloween. And luckily, it's right before trick-or-treating starts. An awesome can is marching around Halloween. So I just checked the free the gauge, and it's not at the right temperature. So it's time for an.
I'm back from my date and update on the fridge. I have to put some money down to save enough for a new fridge. And as a new tradition, every time we're at, me and Rowan and his family's at the zoo, we always stop by at a gas station and only getting a slushy. So they were selling this. And it's pretty good. It has almond milk, hemp seeds, makana, cardamom, and probiotics. Happy Friday, everyone. Well, I actually found a tooth that started it all. I know it actually seems like it's a piece of a pretzel, but if you look really closely, that is the tooth that chips. So I talked to my mom about that and going to see if the tooth fairy will accept this. And I'm currently reading a Christian novel on Hoopla, which is kind of like an audible for a local library. In a few hours, I actually have to head into my new job. And speaking of, I have to sign my first NDA, which is a non-disclosure contract. I don't know if you can see, but the truth that chips is actually growing back. I still need to go to the dentist to see what happened. I actually want to show you guys what I got in the mail yesterday. And my mom and I was joking around the whole tooth fairy fiasco and... I got a card from her that says, at times like this, the man upstairs got you, and I do too. Says, I know I'm not the only one not going to disclose my faith for you right now. You got lots of people who cares about you and keep lifting you up daily. But just the same, I plan to keep you know what, like, your own uh, personal squad. Carly, because you mean that much, because you're due for some blessings, because I believe that power in it, and I hope you feel that power soon. But here's what it actually says. The tooth there was so busy, so I'm the best thing anyway. It's actually in the mid-afternoon. I'm going to show you guys that the tooth fairy actually accepted my tooth that was actually chipped, which I was afraid she wouldn't, is that, again, it was covered in a pretzel. I'm glad she accepted it. Good morning and happy Sunday. Today is like the first day of fall. You know what that means. You guessed it. Time to put some Halloween decorations. And I found out there's a working wreath hook over by my entryway. So I'm going to hang that. And hopefully my little stickers I preserved from last year still works. I managed to fit all of my stickers from last year into one window. Sadly, a couple of Hocus Pocus window adhesive still works. And sometime in the next, when I see my dad next, it will be with me and Kaylin. Probably going to go to the spirit store and, and who knows, they might have some other Tim Burton window decor. So yeah, here's a look on my window decal. So what I did this year rather than last year is I normally put my decor pumpkins over by my little nook. 
So instead, I figured it'd be a better spot if I put it near my windows. And what I didn't realize is they actually light up. Since it's the first day of spooky season, it's perfect to get out my Nightmare Before Christmas mug. Look at these two guys. To my left, I actually have some nostalgia products, and I know it was like one of the last two videos I mentioned that we would go to do a nostalgia hunt, which is a My Mini brand. So we did, well, I actually did that before I had into work yesterday. Well, JCPenney did have some nostalgia products. It's a little on over my budget, so I checked Walmart and got a little extra time. I got really excited, and they were selling these under eight bucks a piece, so I got the Waffle Maker. And again, to help me do some like vegan ramen, I got their noodle cooker and skillet. Since it's almost much time, I'm not gonna be opening the waffle iron. These products is not sponsored by Nostalgia or my mini. I saw these on sale at Walmart. So I had to get them, and it's perfect for me to practice with my cooking skills. These were only like eight bucks a piece rather than 20 bucks. And when I was looking at the website on JCPenney, they had a cake pop maker, and that was originally going to be $8.49, I think. And I just checked their website yesterday and it was bumped up to the price to 13 I was like, maybe next time. So as I was opening this, you can do like a traditional waffle, some, I think it was like some Mexican dish, like with the running egg, or it looks like sunny side out, which I'm not going to do the second picture because Again, I'm allergic to eggs, and you can also do a dessert with it, so that's going to be pretty cool. So as I'm going through the instructions, just your... It's like a waffle iron, but smaller, hence the name. So I'm reading the instructions in my head. And of course came with this, like with my panini maker. So, he so here's what it looks like outside of the packaging. And it's so cute. You can make little mini waffles. And it's almost lunchtime, like I said. So as I was going through the instruction manual, it actually has the recipes, so like the original Belgian waffles, oatmeal waffles, which was pretty interesting. The next thing I'm going to be opening up is the ramen cooker, which I actually couldn't find any like vegan ramen, but luckily Amazon has some stuff or like Whole Foods. So I've never used like a skillet, if you will, and this is actually the skillet portion of the ramen cooker, and here is the actual stuff you would cook, like if you put ramen and you can even put some rice in it, if you will, and put these on top. Like so, and I was reading 
the ingredient, well not the ingredients, but the recipes. You can do stir fry, oh. hard boiled eggs, which I'm never going to use. Huevos Rancheros, again, that's an egg dish. I wonder if I can substitute that something else. I think I'm, of course, I can just look at like Pinterest ideas. Link in the description when I was reviewing the panini maker. So I realized I was putting this on the wrong side. You just stack them like so until like the logo is on the bottom, then your skillet is on top. Fridge. That's not what I'm expecting, and yeah, not bad for seventy-five dollars. And my mom found this on Facebook Marketplace, and can't really put anything yet until twenty-four hours. Now up here it needs to be cleaned up, and since it's fall, it's perfect to do one of the flavors. Watching some flaming shark, doing a reaction of the first two episodes of Murder Drones. So here's the inside look of the freezer, all nice and clean. Here's the look of my fridge. It's a lot bigger than my last one. And got some more storage. So I'm actually following Freeform's Halloween schedule and watching the OG Haunted Mansion and the recent one is just now um, added to Disney Plus. It's actually the next morning, so I waited 24 hours until it's ready to be plugged in for a new fridge. And ta -da, the motor's starting to work. And look, I have some space. Good evening and happy Thursday. I just got out of the shower and Rowan's actually on his way here to do another trip of the Zubu, which you saw in the last clip. And don't mind my tablet in the background. So, since he's going to dress up as a raccoon, although he never seen Guardians, but I don't know you can see, but I'm going for like a Ravager look because I got my group shirt and got my makeup-inspired look by him and a couple of the perfumes and body mist. So I just gave word that the Zubu closes at 7 p.m. Oh, I got a few minutes to spare. I'm gonna show you guys my new kicks, although I showed you in one of the videos which I'm currently editing. So these are like perfect for Zubu. It's got the boogie boys on it and it's a nightmare for Christmas. And speaking of things Halloween, I'm going in be like spooky season without some sidekicks to the villains. So I just turned my calendar and it's the Great Mouse Detective featuring Fidget, which is Ragan's pet. While I'm waiting on Rowan, which would be soon, might as well get caught up on The Masked Singer, which I'm waiting patiently last night for it to be on YouTube without any spoilers. So the first thing we see is a couple of seals lying on their pouches. They are particularly endangered, unfortunately. Um, there is estimated to be anywhere from like 400 to 1,000 left in the wild, and that is it. They're also the only cold weather tiger, um, and they are the largest of their species. So, if you see any of the other tigers, um, they might be quite a bit smaller, and then they live in much more warm temperatures. 
So generally, when it is cold, uh, during the walking or uh, Good afternoon and happy Friday. Since it is fall break, I have all of this week off for work. And Roman and I are going to do another trip at the Zubu tonight. I believe this is going to be the adults uh, trick or treat event. And. This time he's going to dress up as a dragon, which was going to be a little hard for me at first, but I narrowed it down to Maleficent in her human form. And don't mind my messy hair, it's like sticking out like a sore thumb. So we had to cut it short last night since the Zubu was closing at 7. And we're gonna last a little longer. It looks like it's mating season. Saw a penguin with the pebbles and snow. We had so much fun at Zubu, despite the fact it is pouring down rain. As Barbara Streisand always says, don't rain on my parade, and we're not gonna land a little rain. Ruin our fun. We had some Halloween treats. First thing it was at the comments, it was the Hocus Pocus pulled pork. And man, that is amazing. So she has cabbage, of course pulled pork, and I didn't eat mine without a bun. And Ian Ron was Waiting out the rain in one of the places where they were selling slushies. And they were getting ready to close. And they, the two guys that was in the stand offered Rice Krispie treats right before they were closing. And it was so cute then get to watch Penguin's mate. So I actually found out that... Glitch's sister production of Murder John's Digital Circus premiered while it was out, so I just finished it and I've recognized a certain character. And like a couple of characters was actually from Murder Drones, and I'll put in a link in the description. And also, we had two tickets for the attraction, so what better way? To do that is, I actually faced my fear on writing the, I think it's called the Kobu, which is a family roller coaster. And it was a lot of fun. Although Rowan really enjoys, like, thrill rides. Okay, so moving on. Digital Circus. I wouldn't say it's, like, for kids. Although it's pretty cute in a way, and it's kind of light and helps me and like wait a little bit until Murder Jones has an episode or vice versa. So again, it had Michael Kovic and not just IMDb. So stars Michael Kovic, Eloise Lindbeck. Mario Drones. So, it's a good show. Another thing, too, is Rowan's been recognized by his dragon costume. 